String. One of the humblest, yet possibly most versatile art mediums, enjoys something of an unacknowledged art historical pedigree, having featured prominently in the works of many influential artists, including Pablo Picasso, Marcel Duchamp, Henry Moore, Nam Gabba, Barbara Hepworth, and Eva Hess. But where did this use of string originate? The answer can be traced back to an unlikely source, mathematics. String has the ability, when held taut, to produce straight lines, which, in turn, can be combined to produce exact angles. Straight lines and angles are used to form geometric shapes, specifically straight-sided polygons, including squares and triangles. It is for these reasons that mathematicians in the 19th century used it to create a device called a surface model. Surface models originated in Germany in 1847, at a time when there was a revival of geometric ideas in mathematics. University students studying military architecture and engineering at this time developed the models to help them visualise complex mathematical formula. These models went on to be displayed in various museums around the world, including the Science Museum in London. It was during a visit in 1937 that Henry Moore saw the models and became inspired to use them within his work, and he went on to produce many sculptures that used it as a component. Nam Gabba, the Russian-born constructivist, and the British sculptor Barbara Hepworth also credit these mathematical models as their inspiration to incorporate string within their work. Gabba produced abstract sculptures using white thread to construct geometric forms around a plastic support structure. In comparison, Hepworth used natural materials such as metal, wood or stone to create organic and abstract sculpture. The addition of string to her work was used to provide a contrast, working either to soften or harden the angles within the overall composition. The fact that the stringed mathematical model permeates the development of avant-garde art to a remarkable degree is further illustrated by its influence on the Surrealists. In 1936, several examples of mathematical surface models were exhibited as artworks at the Parisian Exposition Surrealist Objet d'Art. The artist, Marcel Duchamp, saw these and was inspired to create 16 miles of string for an exhibition of surrealist art held in New York in 1942. Duchamp used exactly 16 miles of string to adorn the exhibition space and the resultant webbing defined visitors' experience by simultaneously making it difficult to access the works whilst at the same time physically and visually connecting them. It was the first example of site-specific string installation, which is a technique that several contemporary artists now use exclusively to create their artwork, including Gabrielle Dorr, Megan Geckler and Pei White. All three of these artists use coloured string to create large site-specific installations. They use the repetitious motion of stitch to layer the strings, and build up 3D geometric forms that precisely fit the space they are designed for. It is interesting to observe the visual similarities between these works and the surface models of the 19th century. Both artists and mathematicians have been unified in their work because of this simple material.